Hello friends, my name is Praveen Anchal and I welcome you all in our channel Animato Study. Today we will discuss History Lesson 4 Class 9 that is Forest Society and Colonialism. So before starting anything, first of all we will always uh, you know go with the chapter name. So here you see chapter name that is Forest Society and Colonialism. So here you see the key terms that is Colonialism. So what is the meaning of Colonialism? So Colonialism meaning uh, is the process of making colony. Is it clear like uh, you know Britain has made India as their colony so remember that now the next very important uh, term we have that is forest society so what is the meaning of forest society what type of society was living in forest area so on that time and today also uh, you know the tribals are living in forest so basically tribals will be known as forest society so before starting this chapter now let's have a complete story of this chapter within two minutes so here if you see first of all we will start with the British government so when this British government came into India so their main purpose was to earn profit and for earning profit in India they were having two options either to go with farming or to go with uh, you know a forest so they were thinking that farming is much 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 better than the you know forest that is why they started doing cutting of forest and when they started doing cutting of forest so this process is known as deforestation so how we can explain deforestation so deforestation means disappearance of forest now when they were cutting the forest now then their biggest problem or the biggest uh, you know particular enemy was tribal people because we all know that tribals are the king of forest so here they have followed n number of strategies to remove tribals from the picture of forest and uh, some examples i have written here for example tribal people were getting food by doing hunting so they have stopped you know hunting now the next one is tribal people were getting food from doing cultivation so they have stopped doing shifting uh, means they have stopped you know shifting cultivation and the last one was tribals were also getting a number of uh, you know resources like fruits wood and a number of other things from the forest so they also stopped uh, you know this that is forest resources now tribals cannot use without taking permission from the britishers so these many sub points are there under the tribals now you see tribals are not getting food means they cannot do hunting they cannot do you know shifting cultivation they cannot use the forest resources so what are the options left for the tribals they don't have any option that is why they will go with the revolt so the next topic we'll discuss that is tribal revolt you can see at the last it is written basically in this tribal revolt we'll discuss about the Bastar region how this Bastar people have revolted and apart from Bastar we will also discuss few more region like you know Andhra Pradesh, Jharkhand and all there also we'll discuss now the last topic in this particular chapter is Indonesia and the same type of exploitation will happen in uh, Java, Indonesia also. So basically in this chapter we will discuss about two countries that is India and Indonesia, how their colonial master or how this particular Britishers and Dutch people have exploited the resources, forest resources of uh, you know Java and Bastar or um, Indonesia and India. So that we will basically discuss in this chapter so i hope this uh, you know series will be very very interesting for you all this chapter we have divided into four parts and this is the first part where we will basically discuss about the introduction topics uh, we will basically do the introduction of the chapter as well as some basic topics so let's start few topics also so here the first topic is how this particular deforestation was happening in india so one reason why i have already told to you that you know britishers wanted more and more profit that is why they were promoting farming because from farming they were getting taxes and all but apart from that you know one more very important reason was there that is called as population rise because on that time also population was increasing and increasing and to meet the demand of those uh, you know uh, increased population we have to make uh, houses for them we have to make roads for them, we have to make a number of other things for them and that is why we have to cut trees. So the one reason is population rise or the population growth. Now the next one is called as bhai, if uh, you have to you know feed those entire population that is why you need food for them. So how food will come by doing farming or by doing agriculture by doing farming that is why the next very important one is farming. So farming was again very very important reason for deforestation because you cannot do farming in forest. You have to cut the trees then only you can get plain and on the plain area you can do farming. Okay. So farming was very very big uh, reason behind deforestation. Now in farming I am just sharing with you some data. We have data like about uh, you know 1600 in, uh, in you know 1600 we were having about one sixth land that was coming under the cultivation or the farming 
one six is equal to around sixteen to seventeen percent of the land. But in present time, it is more than fifty percent of our uh, you know uh, land is coming under the cultivation. You can understand means more farming, more cultivation area is equal to less forest, and less forest is equal to less oxygen, and less oxygen is equal to more global warming. So the entire world is facing this problem. You can understand this is a global uh, you know uh, problem that we are facing today. Now you see the next very important uh, reason behind the deforestation was making ships and railways. Now this I'm sharing with you in detail. On that time, what was happening? Britain was having one very uh, powerful, you know, navy which was called as uh, Royal N Navy. So for making ships for uh, Royal Navy, they were using the oak tree which was available in their own country. But by the passage of time, this oak tree was not able to fulfill the demand what was arising from this uh, ship industry. That is why these Britishers have sent their representative to find the quality of wood in Indian forest and they found that Indian woods are of best quality. That is why you know they started importing wood from the uh, you know Indian forest and that is how this uh, particular sheep industry uh, became the reason for deforestation in India. So that you must remember basically timber was required for making ships that is royal ships that is uh, ships for the Royal Navy of Britain and this timber was coming from the Indian forest okay now the next one is railway so after 1850s the expansion of railway took place in large number and uh, this particular railway was uh, you know used for uh, transportation of the goods as well as uh, passenger as well as the army of the Britishers and uh, for laying down this particular railway now we were required sleepers now that sleeper is not that uh, sleeper S1, S2, S3 not that sleeper basically the sleeper was the wooden plank uh, you can see in the image here this wooden plank for making this wooden plank we were required timber and for that also you know we were cutting the trees I am sharing with you one data uh, from one average size tree we were getting around four sleepers and for making one mile of uh, you know railway track we require 2000 you know sleepers about 1750 to 2000 sleepers we require so you can understand for making one mile of railway track we were cutting around 500 trees so that was the massive destruction or deforestation we were doing on that time and it was increasing only by the passage of time now the next one is plantation so what is the meaning of plantation so plantation means growing similar type of crop in a very large area in large quantities known as plantation like we have tea plantation coffee plantation so this particular uh, you know plantation is very very important because on that time industrialization was on its peak so for meeting the requirement of industrialization we need raw material and raw material were uh, raw material we were getting from this plantation only basically this plantation was promoted to gain more and more profit by the britishers so that you must remember so after passage of time when Britishers were carelessly you know cutting the entire forest so later they came to know that they are not cutting forest they are cutting their own food so <laughs> so you know that is why they realized that uh, cutting forest is good for short term but it is very very harmful in long term that is why they started to plan uh, you know something for the forest management and that is why they, they found one uh, very uh, you know expert in forest management that is uh, Dietrich Brandis who was from Germany and they called uh, you know this expert person in forest management to India for managing our forest resources in a very efficient manner. So let's talk a little bit about the Dietrich Brandis. Um, so these are some points that I have mentioned over here you can uh, always you know write these points in your notes and making notes is very very important everyone fine so let's very quickly discuss about the directors bandits so you can see here <coughs> who was the first inspector general of india this question is always coming not only in your class 9th or class 10th it is always coming in other competitive examination also like who is the first inspector general of india so always remember who is the first inspector general of india that is Dietrich Brandis now the next one is after becoming the first inspector general of india he made so many rules and regulations like in 1864 he made indian forest service which is still there in today's uh, time now in 1865 they made you know indian forest act which was later amended in 1878 and in 1927 now in 1878 forest amendment act now you must remember one thing that the entire forest now was divided into three very important areas 
the first very important center area was known as reserved uh, forest what it was known as reserved forest you can see in the image the reserved forest is um, the largest area of the entire you know division it was containing about two third of the total forest and this reserved forest is completely protected you cannot use it only britishers can you only britishers can use it after that we have the next very important uh, level which is called as uh, protected forest so protected forest you can use in a limited manner but you have to take uh, prior permission from the british authority and the last area is known as village forest where villagers can live but they have to provide uh, services to the britishers so this is the entire you know classification and similar type of classification we will also see in java you see if you will compare java indonesia with india now so lots of similarities will be there that we will see later now after that you see the next very important thing is he has also you know established one very important uh, institution which is called as imperial forest research institution that is in dehradun in 1906 now sometime my dear friends are doing mistake this i stand for imperial not india so that we have to keep in mind now the last one is scientific forestry so what is the meaning of scientific forestry that we have to understand very nicely this scientific forestry was introduced uh, by the uh, you know detris brandes and under this scientific forestry three points you have to remember the first one is we have to cut the old trees and the second one is we have to plant the new trees and the third one is all the new trees will be uniform in nature and they will be planted in the single line and all these are all the points that you have to remember in scientific forestry now one question i'm asking to you this scientific forestry will be accepted by the tribals or it will be rejected by the tribals that you have to comment in the comment section so these are the complete you know introduction lecture or the uh, you know part number 1 and in the next part you know we will discuss how these britishers have exploited the tribals by stopping hunting shifting cultivation and the forest resources so things are very interesting so friends if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you have any problem doubt confusion you can always comment in the comment section and let me know we will see you in the next video till then bye bye have a nice day thank you